We often see and admire the big things in this world. But Mike Stevens is looking at the smaller things in this visit to the PhotoLink Library. Some of you may remember clouds like these that Vicki Buck sent along from Renovo. They look like rain. <laughs> and look here, as Sandra Wall from Falls shows us, they actually produce rain some of the time. Get a little rain and things seem to spring to life. Flowers here from Frank Saponsic and Loyal Sox State Forest. Give those flowers a little water and as Linda Reggie showed us, they really come out to play. And to accept visitors, Greg Slussow sent us this little capture from Stroudsburg. These small critters you can find these days can be a real challenge to capture. Mary Wardle of Dallas got this one. A friendly dragonfly came by as Alexa Steck of Whitehaven fished with Grandfather. Needed a two-person crew to capture this one. Rich Ozark in Mountaintop took the photo and Debbie Ozark sent it on in. Something you don't see every day from Christine Sosmack of Lackawanna County. From Laura Snyder in Muncie, an image entitled Nature Close-Up. And it is that. Small but interesting is this little one. If you prefer larger subjects, try hummingbirds. Carol Suzdick of Barnesville caught two out for a quiet dinner. And here's a classroom caught by Barbara Lewis of East Stroudsburg. She describes the scene as a parent teaching the young ones where the good snacks can be found. Now, if you have no rain to cool things off, you might go for a little swim out to a favorite log. It was 97, Rick Liebert says, when he got this image. Or you might want to catch a few rays with neighbors and friends after a refreshing swim. This from Darlene Engel of Lewisburg at Little Buffalo State Park. Big or small, rain or shine, the challenge is in the getting. Rain brought a rainbow to Laura Frank's camera in Greentown, and here's what she captured. See it, save it, send it on in to the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.